He damn near smoked you. We see you on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy Jims with the stop being dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Link in the bottle for the merchandise, the Twitter, my Instagram, the CMOS, all that good. If you watch right now, I appreciate that. I appreciate you hit that subscribe button. The holidays, uh, well, Christmas is past. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a great Christmas for me. I hope everybody had a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like just the joy of uh, you know, getting everything my kids wanted, and um, you know, also the irony of everything they 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 literally got everything they wanted and just like throw it to the side and talking about put YouTube on like. You know, the era of the TV is really driving me crazy. I almost lost my cool for a second because I'm just like, it's less of, oh, I bought this stuff and pay attention to it. It's like, damn, like, why are you so consumed with this television more than you are all the things you asked me of or a toy in general, even if you didn't ask me of it? Like, why can't we sit and play with this? And we do, though. My kids don't get consumed in the TV as, all, as much as I let them is how much they get consumed. You know, I've always been the type of person that it's like, yo, until your kids are old enough to say no to you, or have their own television in their own crib, their own access to the fridge, or their own access to order their own food, Your their health, their fitness, that's what I'm talking about with the, with the kitchen and all that, is on you. What they consume under the roof of your house is on you. Therefore, you know, I'm like, no TV, we're playing with the toys, and they get right to the toys. I guess it's just a little frustrating that the times has changed. I remember I come up in the era, we played kick the can, manhunt, we were jumping across the roofs, the garages and all that, that's Gigi, go! Oh my god So now before this was brought to my attention By one of my homies He was like yo is it just me or like Geechee looks salty out here Like or over surf Like why, why does Geechee keep going back and forth with surf If um what you call it If they already battled You know what I'm saying Like surf already beat him You know that's the general consensus of people Believing that surf won that battle I personally on first watch thought surf won the battle as well but my answer to that was yo i do see the tweets also but i think it's because they're trying to do the gun titles versus efb so you know those are the two main gunners in the crews so i think like that's why they're trying to build it up but also outside of that i do see some saltiness coming from Gichi Gotti in the sense of like he's nitpicking certain things about the twerk battle or surf's year in general of how consistent he's been but it's only been the last three battles and yo I've been doing that and things like that you almost do look like a hater like in a sense you look jealous because it's like why are you going out your way to kind of like come at me you know what I'm saying because I'm doing great even if we're all gonna battle again me and you aren't gonna battle again so it's kind of like it ain't looking right especially on top of the fact that like, Geechee Gotti yesterday specifically, he put out, like, an, an A-Ward wrote on this, too. And this is all going to make sense to why I feel like this is happening. You know, add an A-Ward in this, too, would bring you out into the way I'm thinking about this whole situation of uh, Geechee jealous or hating on Surf. So, uh, he, he puts a quote up from the twerk battle. Uh, it was like when, um, the part where, I, where, where Surf was like, um... Cop a bullet, hit his head. You know, my, my shooter vegan, but I still send him bread. Um, Wait, watch, better than Jenny Craig. That whole sequence, he picked a part from that sequence that like sounded in a sense basic. Now I gotta say uh, uh, two things in that. Yes, the part that you picked out might have not been the greatest and most incredible bars ever. But what he said before that and after that and what he led to made that fire. Like he might've had that one spot of filter a filler, but then he went and dropped a bomb at the end of all that, and it sounded well. It ain't about what you say, it's how you say it, and he said it great. So when you nitpicking like that, you look, you look crazy. You cannot talk about somebody who just had a flawless victory. You look ridiculous. It's like the JC, the JC bar about um. Uh, they criticize the form, even though the shot perfect. You know what I'm saying? But now I agree. I want to. I'm playing devil's advocate now. That's all the agreeing that I that I'm doing with people on Twitter, and you know, and see people. My man saying, "Yo, why you look like he's hating on him?" Whatever the case may be. And I'm gonna say this is why people see it that way, why it comes off that way, why it looks that way. Now I'm gonna get into what's actually happened here. What's happening here? Why is Geechee doing this? This is because of EFB versus Gun. Geechee 
Everybody had 500 battles this year and barely lost anyone a tournament and all that split the bread all over his channel, battling Avor, doing rematches, spinning the block, having great performances, face of battle rap, doing all this. His champion of the year bag was secure. It was secure. And you feel, he's like, hold on. I know y'all not letting this three good battle motherfucker come and try to take my bag, my title. Nah, that's not happening. I'm gonna have to sway the don't don't get confused that these battles were so good that Surf is doing and make you believe that he deserves champion of the year over me. Don't do that. A Ward even jumped in the tweet. He's like, yeah, like we ain't doing like he like like about like the 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 the, the quote that Geechee put up when I said Chopper but hit his head. That like that whole that whole thing I was talking about. Like A Ward wrote on it too. He's like, yeah, like that ain't even all that. Like, I'm like, oh. You the runner up. You like, yo, hold on. You ain't even coming in second. Like, don't do that, surf. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's the spirit of competition. I feel them. I feel them. It's like, you know, you come out, you have a, a few, a few great games. Highlight real games. Then -na 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 moments. But at the end of the day, it ain't enough for you to try to come and take my champion the year spot. This is the spot they're trying to secure. I feel like Geechee started getting real defensive with um, Surf and what people were saying about Surf as soon as um, they were talking about Surf being champion of the year. And then Surf's defending of why he should be champion of the year. Like, yeah, these guys had all these average games, but I'm putting up 50 against, you know what I'm saying? The, the greats. That's how he's talking. I mean, don't get me wrong. He has a little bit of a point there. But nah, man, I honestly can't see it going above Geechee Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Or even A-Ward. I just don't. I feel like, you know, it's like people love you for what you did last. That's kind of like more like on their mind right now. But you have to understand, Geechee Gotti battled loaded of Lux this year. You know what I'm saying? Rematched with A-Ward. Had the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Won the tournament. Technically, they split it or didn't know. They gave it to Rum Nitty, I believe, right? Oh, no, they didn't let them say it, even though we all knew Rum Nitty won that. So technically, Geechee lost that. But still, it was still a fire year for Geechee Gotti. You know what I'm saying? He's done a lot, you know, and um, I, I believe that him or A-Ward should be the talks for champion of the year. And when you see Surf coming through, possibly taking that from them, you know, after just having a few good battles, he's kind of trying to remind people that let's not forget that this guy was a choke fest prior to this on his just straight analyst. And you know what I'm saying? He happened to have a few good games, but that don't mean he should get a all the year. You know what I'm saying? You have to kind of be like, how could we judge this for the entire year from the beginning of the year to the end of the year? Did Surf have a better year entirely? You know, even though I believe these are Surf's three battles this year, these are only his three battles and he didn't even lose a round, arguably, you know what I'm saying? Against three great top tier opponents. That does count for something, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that kind of, you know, ask yourself, would you want to smash you know what I'm saying? 20, I ain't looking short. These are three dime pieces. I'm going to go with the dimes. It's true. But I also understand you also can't win that conversation. I, I, if I take down 20 average joints and you took down three down, dime, dime pieces, you still can't say you get more buns than me. You can have the defense. Oh, but my shorty had the top and the bottom. The, 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 yeah, side, but I took down 20. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't get more buns than me. But did you get more buns than me, though? But did you get more buns than me, though? I'm winning that debate. I am. And I think that's what's happening here. But at the spirit of competition, I love it. They trying to secure that bad. They trying to make sure, yo, that title doesn't go to surf. Whatever the case may be. But, you know, just to say, I, I, I love the competition, man. I love the fact that the champion of the year, that they're figuring that out. I love the fact that A-Ward's in the talks of everything. I get you, Gotti, holding down his position of being the face of battle rap, which I believe he still is. Even though Sue Surf right now runs bad rap sue surf has the entire battle rap lit 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 like sue surf is doing that right now you can't take that away from him like i said a year ago it was like meh, meh. and now look what he's doing you know he's showing that star power and, and it is what it is and i'm showing the love i'm showing right now for surf because i was an adamant um a, a, a person who was smoking him when he was doing terrible so i feel like if i'm gonna kick you while you're down I'ma uplift you while you're up. That's just how I work in life, period. We're not even, I'm not gonna kick you while you're down, but it's bad rap and this is, you know, the channel and I gotta do this. You know, if you do terribly, I gotta say you did, but in life, I'm actually just gonna always try to motivate you and understand that even when you reach the bottom, there's only one other place to go. You know, if you feel like, 
You know, you're messing up your school, you're messing up with the job, and you stressed out, and your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be, and life is is really winning the battle against you right now. You have to understand, sometimes being at rock bottom isn't so bad, because there's only one other direction to go, and that's up. You can't get lower than the low, so let's start moving up now. You know, you get to really analyze things that you're not doing correctly and really be able to understand, like, listen, if all the problems around me I have to stop blaming everyone else. It might be me. And maybe I need to start taking different approaches and things and be more open-minded, more uh, less opinionated, you know, understand the factor of having two ears and one mouth. I should listen more than I speak. You know, once you, uh, uh, you know, inquire those kind of things and add those kind of things to your repertoire, you, there's no way you're not going to see greatness. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. And, I, and if nobody believes in you, I do. And I mean that wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? I've been through the ups. I've been through the downs and every which way in between. And I'm still trying to prosper every single day, but I'm doing all right for myself and I'm proud of that. So if I can do it, you definitely could do it. So let's do it. With that being said, uh, I got a few more blogs coming for y'all, a couple more updates for other things that I'm working on. I just wanted to get this out right now. Uh, I'm about to hit the gym, today's shoulders, and uh, we're gonna do some trap work, some cardio, and I'm feeling good, feeling strong. Got my steak cooking in the air fryer, got my coffee ready to go, and I'm living a loving life, and I hope y'all doing the same. Don't worry about yesterday's hardships. Make today a better day than yesterday because tomorrow is not promised. Trust the process, protect your peace, and stop being dirty. <laughs> Wee, <laughs>